sight unseen. We heard our Father say, Do you remember my servant Job and his frustration with suffering? After I revealed myself to him in a storm, he repented and began to trust in my sovereign, loving care over him again. When you entered into my kingdom, what did you bring with you? Nothing but a surrendered heart, captured by my amazing grace. Now that you are my child, what have you to offer me? You do not live your life for yourself anymore. Instead, you are filled with Jesus Christ's resurrection life. I sent him to rescue you, to redeem you out of the darkness into light. I invite you and your family to live a sight unseen life. After Thomas touched the nail scars in Jesus' resurrected body, he declared his faith in and covenant with my son. Then Jesus revealed the greater blessing of life here on earth to believe without seeing. You do not require signs or wonders to follow me because I am above and beyond all you will ever need. Trust me, for I am your faithful guide. Walk with me, for I am your wonderful counselor. Seek me every day and night, for I am your destiny architect. Share with others about me, for I am the All Nations Messiah. I have sealed you with my Holy Spirit. He lives in you. Quiet your hearts and listen for my voice, for I will unveil my wisdom and release to you sight of what will soon be. Your word teaches us about faith in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Your word teaches us about the Holy Spirit as our guide in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. Your word teaches us about trust in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and He will show you the right way. Your word teaches us about freedom in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 17 to 18. And when God is personally present, a living spirit, that old constricting legislation is recognized as obsolete. We're free of it, all of us. 
nothing between us and God. Our faces shining with the brightness of His face. And so we are transfigured, much like the Messiah. Our lives gradually becoming brighter and more beautiful as God enters our lives and we become like Him. Heavenly Father, we believe, we receive your revelation, celebrate your truth, and rest in your presence. Thank you for teaching us to live by faith and lay down at your feet our desire for signs. You are the only sign we will ever need, for you are our perfect wonder. We worship you in the Holy Spirit, in truth and freedom, and we ask you to guide our generation into the lives of every tribe, language, people, and nation until they taste your glory and cry out in their native tongues, Maranatha! Thank you for watching our Blazing Trees videos. And thank you so much for all the love, prayers, and generosity. Thank you, Abba Father, Messiah Son, and Holy Spirit. Maranatha, precious Lord Jesus.